Dave then picked up the items off the floor and tried to give them to Tom again but he refused to take them. Dave then said Tom you have to take them because Damien told me to give them to you when you arrived in the cell. You are going to be a woman of the wing whether you like it or not so just accept it. Tom then looked at Dave with absolute disgust and said what happened to you. I thought you were one of the guys who was fighting to not be a woman of the wing but it looks as though you are now a full blown woman. Dave replied saying I used to try and fight it but it was no use. The more I tried to fight the more I got turned out so I just gave up and accepted the fact that I had to be a woman of the wing. The more I got turned out the more I started to enjoy it. Now I love getting my cheeks clapped because it feels so good. I'm really happy to be a woman of the wing because it's a much easier life than being a man. I get so much attention being a woman and the best part about it is the fact that men treat me like a queen. These men crave me and I love it. Since being a woman of the wing I have so much power. I could offer any man on this wing free cheeks to delete any man of my choice and they would do it without any questions. My job is great too, I just need to get my cheeks clapped by 10 men per day which all goes to Damien but all other payments after that I keep all for myself which is great news. When I leave prison at least I will have the money to buy a house in cash. Tom looked at Dave in disgust thinking to himself, what happened to this guy? This guy's now a full-blown woman of the wing. A few minutes later Tom's cell door opened and Damien walked in with two henchmen. Tom got excited and was happy to see him. He also wanted to prove to Dave that Damien was his friend and wasn't going to make him a woman of the wing. Tom then got off his bed and walked over towards Damien with a massive smile on his face. He tried to greet Damien by shaking his hand while saying, It's good to see you friend. Damien then developed a sinister look on his face while looking at Tom's hand. He then replied saying, Friend, we are not friends and then he slapped Tom's hand away from him. Tom then screamed in agony because he never expected this sort of reaction. Damien then looked at Dave and shouted, Did you give her the clear plastic bag that I gave you to give to her? Dave then replied saying yes sir I did but she didn't take it. She said she didn't want to be a woman of the wing. Damien's face now changed from having a sinister look to now having an innocent look on his face as he suddenly had a change of heart. He then said to Tom, You are right, we are friends. What was I thinking trying to make you a woman of the wing? I don't know what came over me. You are a good man and deserve to be treated like one. Dave now had a puzzled look on his face because he didn't understand what was going on. Damien then said to Tom I am sorry for disrespecting you. You can have your old job back and be my security again. Now let's celebrate with a drink. Damien then handed Tom a bottled orange juice drink and also got one for himself. He then opened his bottle and started to drink it as Tom watched. Tom now had a big smile on his face and was so happy that Damien was now his friend again. He then opened his bottle of orange juice but just as he was about to drink it he remembered something. He remembered that time when he went with Damien to a new inmate's cell to get him to be a woman of the wing but the inmate refused to be a woman so Damien offered him a bottle of orange juice while saying sorry for the disrespect, I've got this wrong, you can be a man. Two minutes after the inmate drank the drink he passed out, 
he ended up being knocked out for a full 24 hours and in that time all kinds of things happened to him. While he was knocked out Damien pulled his pants down and bent him over. He then rented him out to all the other inmates on the wing for half price. I lost count how many men clapped his cheeks in that 24 hour period. In the end he ended up waking up while a guy was clapping his cheeks. He tried to run out the cell but Damien and his henchmen caught him and pinned him down to the bed so the client could finish cream pieing him. The saddest part about it all was the fact that Damien kept all the money generated from renting him out all to himself. He didn't give the guy anything. A few weeks later, the guy who Damien gave the orange juice was wearing booty shorts, makeup, flip flops, lipstick and had his toenails and fingernails painted. After realizing what was going on Tom ran and poured the orange juice down the toilet. Damien then shouted woman what are you doing? Tom then said I know you too well Damien, 